when we teach our driving lessons, you want to have your outside leg as a road pony lesson. You want to have your outside leg braced, which right now will be their left leg. They'll be sitting over to the right side of the cart for balance. So that way when they go faster, their balance is to the inside of the cart. That way the cart stays centered. When teaching driving lessons, you want to have the children first of all learn to look up between their ears while driving. You also want to have your hands separated so that way they're not right over the tail. For safety reasons, the reason why you do that is if it gets over the if the rain gets caught on the tail, it will scare the horse or pony and that is dangerous. We try to teach safety first. Hands are separated, shoulders are back a lot like riding. Your feet are in the stirrups, similar to your saddle, with the weight down your heel. As they turn the bend, you'll see their inside shoulder will come back. And while their inside shoulder comes back, that'll help their right hand come back to help turn the pony in the turn. Same thing through the turns. You want their hips to follow their head. You'll see that they'll wiggle their hands just a little bit. That helps also put the horse's head into a more tipped over, bent position. You'll see when they go to reverse, they'll stop and slide their rear ends over to the other side of the cart. That's their safety. In a, in a class, when they show a road pony, a lot of times as they turn to make the reverse, they'll stop for a minute. When they go to stop at a reverse, they stop in the middle of the ring. The reason why is they like to shift their weight over. The biggest thing is balance and control, and as long as they are in a road pony class, they should always stay to the inside of that buggy. Control is another thing. We like to teach them to learn how to control your reins, know how to stop and start. You'll see when Kirsty comes down, she'll come down to a walk. As she does, she'll bring her body back, she'll bring her elbows back and take a little bit of hold on her reins. Once she takes that hold on her reins, you'll see she'll loosen just a little bit and she'll ask him to walk. As she does that, she'll bring her shoulders back and she'll keep a little contact on the reins so the horse doesn't feel like they're loose. When she's ready to trot, she'll sit back and she'll cluck to him and she'll ask him to trot. Okay, let's pick up our trot. Back. And then she takes just a hair more contact, just a little more contact. If she wants him to speed up, she'll cluck to him once. When we tell them to talk to a horse, there's nothing wrong with it. We like them to the horses to know that they're there.